Hey there guys and welcome back to another FPV Guide video. As you know, I'm Paul Lorenzen and this week I'm hanging out at Interdrone 2017. And most of the stuff I deal with is video drones. More specifically for broadcast and high-end prosumer video drones. However, I can't resist, I mean, you can never have too much power. And nope. Alex has taken this to the logical step forward. <laughs> Alex, tell me what you're doing here. I mean, this this looks like jet engines. Yes, uh, exactly it is what it is. It's, it's a drone uh, with four jet engines. We have taken the uh, traditional uh, electrical motor propeller combination and replaced it with a small jet engine. And um, this uses more than 100 milliamp batteries. This is the one gallon fuel tank. Yes. And you get about an hour or two out of that? No. No, with a one gallon fuel tank, you're going to get most two minutes of flight duration. So, guys, that's half a gallon a minute. Yes. He's not kidding around. This no. thing is no. blowing out. It's power hungry and I mean it, it, it leaves a lot of fuel but it produces a lot of power. I mean these four engines combined you have a hundred horsepower. And, and what very kind of small payload could you theoretically speaking lift with that? It, it, this, this current design can do 25 pounds uh, but with upgraded engines we can get it up to 50, yeah. 75. And on the next generation as well, with the new engines, we're looking at a 10-gallon tank, which will which will maximize our time to 20 minutes. Play so time. at three dollars a gallon ish, that's thirty dollars for half an hour of flight time. Oh, yeah. So you can. What kind of applications are gonna be selling? Emergency out? medical is very important. Um, also, ship channel navigation. Um, we're looking into the military as well. Um, something like trans transporting a, a heart from one hospital to another across town needs to be done as quickly as possible. The amount of money that you put into the gasoline or the, the diesel fuel is definitely going to be made up for. So, so, I mean, if you're transporting hearts or medicine, mm -hmm. obviously the money is there. How on earth do you manage to adjust these so finely yeah. that you can actually balance a drone? That's a very good question. Uh, so, of course, like an ordinary quadcopter, we begin by adjust, adjusting the RPM on the individual engines. But of course there is delay in RPM, so in addition to that we also have a thrust vectoring system equipped on each one of the engines and that really help us to uh, control and do whatever fine tuning. So, so you are vectoring all four engines? All four so engines. Balance. Yeah, so it, it's not the engines themselves that get vectored, but they have the thrust, uh, thrust uh, nozzles essentially that are vectored on the back of each engine. I love technology. This is, this is taking the shit to the next level, guys. Okay. So, when are we going to see the 20 minute version of this? 20 minute version of this you will probably see in two years. Not, not, not less than that, uh, because the first step would be to really get this specific design flying for the two minutes. And, and that's going to happen within the next year. And, and, and I mean, this is a test bed. Yes. And, and we're used to seeing a test drone being carbon fiber glued together with a little bit of fishing wire to be super light, saving light. And this thing is... This, this is the kind of steel beams you use when you build a factory. This is a real test bed. Yeah, it is. And, and it weighs 70 pounds. The, this whole entire a 70 bed. pound drone. And, and, no. and it has to be this heavy because, you know, when we're testing it out in the cell and it's bouncing away from different walls and it's flipping it all over the place, we want it to be rugged because we don't want to damage these engines. They're very expensive and we want to protect them as much as we can. And, and you can't see this, but some of these metal pipes has bits in them. So you, yeah, you have it's definitely been used. Yes, this this has definitely been used and abused, if I could say that. <laughs> yeah, it's not and, a trailer queen. And, no, no, but that's exactly what it's meant for. So what kind of people are coming here? What kind of response are you getting? Um, a lot of puzzled looks. Puzzled looks. Yeah. Okay. Is that what I think it is? Oh, it is what I think it is. Yes, and, no. the, and the occasional <laughs> and the occasional guy that will drop his bags, rub his eyes, and be like, "Yes, finally, somebody did it. Um, somebody did it." <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm all on board with this. I mean, this could very easily. Once you have your technology, this could very easily scale to be a man-sized aircraft. Absolutely, and we were definitely going. The birthplace of the flying car. Right now. That's it. The real flying car. The real deal. Not the one with a thousand propellers on top. <laughs> well, I mean, um, whatever you do, you don't want to hang your Sony or RED camera underneath this. 
because it's going to be very hard to below this soccer. Yes, absolutely. Pelo's going on top of this guy. Yes. This is this is American stuff. There's heat coming out the bottom of this thing in a big way. It's hot. It's loud. It's all American. Okay. Woohoo! <laughs> Alex, thank you so much for sharing thank you. this. Thank you. Yeah. And guys, make sure you click and subscribe for more videos from In The Drone 2017. There is a lot more. Unlike last year, 2015, it was, there was a lot of people. But this year, the show is showing a lot, much more serious drones. It's not toy drones anymore. So In The Drone 2017 is a whole different show. And we're going to have a lot more videos. Stay tuned, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you, guys. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.